Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. So here we have a pretty, I would say a pretty big story developing from Verizon, and they are buying out Western Central Wireless. I've actually heard of this carrier before. They're in Central Texas. And so what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to put it into perspective because some people are messaging me making this bigger than it is, right? For one, what is what does this do for Verizon? So looking at it, right, taking a few steps back, putting it into perspective, AT&T has the dominant share in those parts of Texas. Now, I know this carrier has some operations with T-Mobile. They also do some dealings with uh, AT&T as well. But all of that is going to get consolidated under under Verizon, right? So are they going to gain a huge amount of customers? I mean, if they if they add 50,000, I I think that's that's a plus, but I don't think it's going to be anything groundbreaking. I think for Verizon what's what's the most positive from this is some of the spectrum licenses that they gain and likely some tower sites that they're going to be able to put their equipment on like their C band and their other spectrum holdings, you know, integrate that, integrate and transition the uh West Central wireless base onto Verizon, you know, promotional offerings and such and then further grow your fixed wireless access footprint. There's going to be other parts of this area that they operate in that you can attack the AT&T share. So this is very interesting. Um, in these parts, T-Mobile lacks coverage the most. Uh, Verizon did before, but again, Verizon is coming in with a very low market share in those parts of Texas. And again, using the same playbook that Verizon has followed for a very, very long time, buying up small regional players and growing and expanding the network. So, of course, they're going to use the tower sites from this merger, I mean, from this acquisition. But Verizon themselves, of course, they will expand and further expand the tower grid where needed. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel. I will leave this article in the description so you guys can check it out. Everything that happened is listed right here. It's set to be completed and done by the middle of 2023. So we'll see if we hear from Verizon. This is probably not big enough for them to make any announcement. It's probably going to be very quiet. So just wanted to let you guys know. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel. Like, share, subscribe. Follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. See y'all in the next one. Peace.